I'm doing this while I'm holding my pad. I'm recording it on my pad. So let's go ahead and open up the cupboard door. Whoa, hey. We got some white up there. Or let's take a look at that. Look at that one. That one's got mycelium all the way down to the bottom. And that is on the it's clumpy, so that is on the barley. But it's working, and if you look at it in the light, it has a pink tint to that mycelium, so you can tell it's pink oyster mushrooms growing in there. What else do we got? This one here is wheat. And not so much growth on that one. Oh, there it is right there. There's a little bit, and then this little area right here is still kind of clumped up. You can see it. I don't know if it's showing up on camera very well, but it's just a little bit. It's not quite a spread on that wheat. Let's put that down here. Let's look what oh, we got some back there with lots of white. And this one here, this front end, this is wheat. And it's all the way down to my finger. I think see this one right here. It's got a pinkish color to it. And that's wheat also. And that one's spread out pretty good, but this has only been four days, so wow, look at that one. And of course, it's right underneath the injection port where it was injected in. And that one's definitely got a pink color to it. And this is barley. It seems to be growing through the barley a lot faster. This is wheat, and it's right here. And this one right here is barley. Interesting. The stuff that's clumpy. Oh, here's a good, another good one. Look at that. And that has also got a pink tint to it. So it's looking good. Perfect. All right, back in the cupboard they go. Back in the darkness. But, from what I can tell, it's actually growing through the barley quite a bit quicker than it is the wheat. Of course, that barley's not going to be very good to shake up once you get to where it's about a third the way through, and then you can shake it up and help mix it throughout the grains. It's going to be a little harder because of the clumpiness, but... We'll see what it does towards the end when I go to shake them up, but that's actually pretty cool. It's exciting. This is the first time I've done it. And I got this spore from the mushroom lab with the needle I ordered off Amazon, $15. And it actually works. And I was able to do these eight jars, and I had some left over. And I did a couple pints, and those pints have oats in them, so we'll see how those turn out. I just did those this morning. Alright, that's the update. It's definitely working. Thanks for watching. Bye.